Hey guys. All right, so we're here to do the second video on this Monday doubleheader. The same patron that asked us to check out City Larson. We had such a great time with that French band. Yeah. So he thought it was a good idea to go back into the well with another French band, this time Mass Hysteria with the song Les Enfers de Die. De Die. Oh. By the way, this is the, the patron request right here. I, I gotta say, you're getting better at the, the pronunciation. I don't think that was good at all. Hey, you know, like I, we've always talked about this, the French accent, all you gotta do is do some like grunts and then you're basically there. It doesn't matter what you're saying, it sounds correct. <laughs> See? No, oui, oui, oui. Les enfants? <laughs> That's my French. It's... Imagine if I was working at a, at a call center, a French call center, oh. and people called me and this is all I would reply back. How frustrating would that be for the person on the other side? Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Why is he moaning into the, <laughs> I know, the like, phone? Why is he moaning? Like, what the hell is going on in this call center? Did I call the right number? Is this Pornhub? Like, it, what the fuck is happening? Well, and, I mean, it would be if he's moaning into the <laughs> phone. I mean... There you go. Maybe I just found, like, a, a skill set that I didn't know that I had. found a new calling in life. Exactly. Thank you. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it. Mass hysteria. C'est bientôt la fin de la journée, de la soirée. Je veux que tout le fest lève le poing en l'air pour ceux qui sont partis trop tôt. Au Bataclan, au Stade de France, à Nice, à Strasbourg. Faites du putain de bruit. Levez les bras en l'air et faites un putain de bruit. L'enfer des dieux Le fanatisme est un suicide de l'homme La folie croit les choses en grand Je cherche un soutien solaire Rien qui ne juge comme un sourire d'enfant Tout amour pour de l'or Dans une main, les amis dans la 
Aventure de Tantan, la plaie érigée. Et puis euh, les plus euh, euh, Ah oui, hein. Ah oui, hein. Oh. Astérix, Obélix. Astérix, <rire> Obélix. À tout le monde, à tous mes amis, je vous aime, je dois partir. Makes no sense whatsoever. It, it makes, I mean, it, the sentence makes sense. It oh, doesn't make sense me saying it now, yeah. unless I unless I get up and leave. But uh, this is the this is the French that I know. Like we don't get a lot of chances. To, and, and people think, aren't you guys from Canada? Just because we're from Canada doesn't make us bilingual. I, I am bilingual, but that's Portuguese and English, not, yeah. not French. If we, lived, if we lived in Montreal, it would have been different. It's a different story. Yeah. But, but, but even the French from Montreal, they, they think they're a hot shit. But let's face the facts. When they go to actually a, a French-speaking country like France, people look at them the same way I look, f I look at people from the islands. Like the ones with the deep accent. I, I have no clue what they're saying. I, I'm not... Listen. Friends. I'm not knocking you guys that are from Madeira or a Sorge. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not knocking. I have much love for all of you, but those of you that have that deep, deep-rooted accent, accent. I, I honestly, I, 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 it's it's like you're speaking French. Like I have no clue. So, anyways, uh, I'm just saying that the 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 guys from Quebec who think they're hot shit when they speak French. Let's face the facts. They sound nothing like like a I'm cool. like, Yeah, like like you know. Actual oh. French guys. Like Zinedine Zidane. We saw nothing like him. Or Didier Deschamps. Just saying. Or Michel Platini. Oh, Platini. Oh. Tigana. I was a big Tigana fan. Huge Tigana fan. I mean, there's, I so, many, there's so many French players we could name. I, I never liked Platini. You never liked Platini? No. What about Cantona? Uh, Cantona, yeah. He was badass. Yeah. yeah. He always had like a baguette up his ass. Like he always had that look. It was the unibrow. But from, from, from the generation of Platini... Tigana was, I mean, I'm a huge, huge fan of that guy. Oh, what a, what a player. I, I, I think because he played with Platini, he never really got the, the same respect. The same respect. I mean, he got, I think he got the same respect in France, but like worldwide, worldwide. He, uh, Platini, Platini was more, just like, he was known. a huge, he was a huge name, right? But Tigana, like, uh, Tigana did all the dirty work that allowed Platini the room to play his, 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 game. his, 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 uh, uh I was going to say his uh, his style, his, his his aroma that allowed you to have his aroma with his football. If he didn't have a guy like Tigana on the team, it would have been a lot harder for him to do what, what he, he did. did. So I, I, you always have to give respect to those guys that uh, that do all the, the dirty, dirty work that allow, uh, allow the superstar to be the superstar. You need one of those guys on every team. Especially if you have a really good player, you need a guy like that that does all the grunt work. You can't have too many prima donnas. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you know, things fall apart. Anyways, mass hysteria. I think you you're gonna agree with me. Everyone's gonna agree with me. That riff was fucking dirty and and bad. It's not like the soldiers marching. We're, we're marching. That's like the, the guitar equivalent of the soldiers marching. Because with every time, like you would listen to it, even You'd if see you see the soldiers marching on the. But street, even if you didn't, you you, you have the feeling, the feeling of marching. Yeah. The way it sounded, it it had you had that that marching into battle kind of feeling to it. It was it was filthy. It had a little bit of an industrial vibe to it, which I really dig. But it had that bite, and it was so it was so nice. Just such a and the guitar player with a white stand. Yeah, that's all you need. Too. Oh, and the bass player was, too. And it was just like his chin could cut glass. Like you know what I mean? It just it was like feeling it. I love it. I I, I dude, this is a great track. Yeah, even though I don't know what he's saying. I I don't I don't know a single word that he said. Uh, I wish he had used the les enfants at some point in time. At least I would have. Ah, He's talking about the kids. He's like, I don't know what he's doing with the kids, but he's talking hey, about Hey, maybe he's them. like the Wu-Tang. It's all about the children. So, I wish that he did use it, but he didn't. And I was trying to see if I could understand a word here and there. But to be honest with you, that riff was so bombastic. that like, the guy could be saying the alphabet in French. I couldn't, I couldn't give two shits. Because the, the song is just... And live, you can feel the energy. You could, yeah. 
wow, I don't know where this festival, I don't know what festival this is, but live, you could feel the energy from the crowd. The crowd was like feeling it. And they were, they were feeling it too. There was this, there was this, um, uh, what do you, what do you say? This, uh, Recipro reciprocity is that the word if it isn't it is a word now this giving and take between the audience and, and the band and and he looked badass too like yeah. you know like just really feeling the With lyrics the polo on yeah just like, like you I'm, don't see that very op often no he, he looked like a member of of one of those firms those british firms yeah all he needed was some lecoq sportif and maybe, you don't know i didn't see his shoes, i didn't see his shoes but maybe he had I, I have a pair i love those you know like Absolutely one of the most comfortable shoes that I have. I need so, a pair of those, but they don't make my size. Uh, that's true, too. That's true, too. I also have a pair of New Balance. Like, they're just so comfortable. But anyways. Uh, Are you trying to get sponsored deals over here? <laughs> hey, whatever. Those Lecoq Sportif cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, Literally, an arm happened, and a leg. If we would have to have like a little shoe cam, and it would just show our shoes throughout the whole... Just put our, shoe, just put our feet on top of the table. We do it like bosses with our feet on top of the table, smoking stogies like uh, like, like Arnold. Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll going... never stop smoking stogies. But yeah, we're going full circle with this video. But I honestly, this dude, this patron, this guy, he knows he knows what's up. He knows what's up. First of all, he hit us with City Larson, which, by the way, I love that track. And the guys in the band were really cool. They sent us a care package with T-shirts and all sorts of stuff. Then he said, "Oh, if you guys, oh, if you like this." I can give you some more French. And he gave us this. Mass Hysteria. I had never heard of this band before. Wow. And, and I, I, no, once we again, more. we need more. Because this live video was epic. Yeah. But that riff. I, I, I could have just listened Marching to Marching into battle. I could have just listened to that riff throughout the whole song. I didn't care. That riff was just so That's what I said. It didn't, matter, it didn't matter what they were saying. I could care less. Like yeah. that, that song. Uh, and, and not only was meaty, but it had a little bit of an industrial sound to it. Which made it even even dirtier. You made it even yeah. more heavy, more me mechanical, if you will. Love it, love it. And and the audience was, man, that was a huge huge crowd for this festival. Huge. Yeah, even so, though it was like the stages next to it too. Yeah, there's the two big stages side by side. Wow, just th th this patron, man, the guy's like batting a thousand right now. He's batting a thousand. He's two out of two. Yeah, he's got a home run and a, and a triple. He's almost two more, and he's he's done the cycle. He's gone for the cycle. He needs a single now and a double, a double into much, the gap. I don't know much about baseball. You you don't know anything that I'm talking about. No. <laughs> Maybe a bunt single, bunt single, and a double into the gap, and, and we and he's hit for the cycle. Hitting for the cycle means you got you you got four hits. You got a single, double, triple, home run. That's what it means in one game. Oh. Not like across the whole year. In one game, you hit all four. It's just like the perfect hat trick. You know what a perfect hat trick is? What, uh, scoring? You score with your left foot, you score with your right foot, and, and then a header. Head. That's a perfect hat trick. All right. I'm dropping knowledge like bombs, like bombs. And that's what that guitar riff, it was oh, dropping bombs. Man, and, and to see him just like, oh. Just feeling it, yeah. Just feeling it. It was absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, this is it for this Monday doubleheader. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.